This cemetery is a place where sailors buried their comrades, where they honoured their own. Some of the British casualties of Jutland were brought back to Scarpa Flow and lie here. But there are German graves here too. Former enemies now united and at peace. Ten years after the battle, the great granite cross which stands here was unveiled. Well, amongst those attending today's service was Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence. As well as being there with his wife, Princess Anne, he is the official representative of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. He spoke to me on the way to St Magnus Cathedral this morning about his family connection to the Battle of Jutland. Being here in Orkney uh, and amongst people who a hundred years ago did so much to support the fleet is very, very special to me as a naval person. And indeed my father was serving with the fleet all through the First World War and spent quite a lot of time up here in, in Scarpa Flow. So f for me personally it's, uh, it's good to be back, so to speak. When you think of the First World War, you, you think about the trenches, you think of the, 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 the battle with the soldiers, not what happened at sea. Well, that's absolutely true, and um, there were relatively few large engagements at sea, quite a lot of smaller engagements throughout the war, but the Battle of Jutland was by far the lar largest engagement, um, as I'm sure everybody's heard, over 100,000 sailors from uh, the Royal Navy and the German Navy uh, faced each other, and in a relatively short space of time, about six or seven hours, 8,500 of them were killed, so it gives you a feeling for the ferocity, the intensity of this remarkable battle. Now, there's been a lot of controversy about who won the battle, but strategically it was very important. Yes, it was. It's, the controversy really is because there was no clear winner, there was no clear outcome. Uh, for the first half of the battle the Germans did extremely well and we lost some valuable ships. We then took the upper hand and uh, things went our way, but at the end of the day it, both fleets still existed. I think the most important point from the point, uh, from the point of view of the course of the war is that a couple of days after the battle, the, the Royal Navy fleet was twice as strong as the German fleet still. So the Germans had not uh, done any sig very significant damage overall, although the loss of life, of course, was greatly to be regretted. Now, one of the most moving stories of the war is the story of Jack Conwell, the 16-year-old sailor who stood by um, as a gunner when all his colleagues had died. Yes, it's, it's a moving story. And I think what surprised... On, on Saturday, we were down at Queen's Ferry and Resythe talking to some of the, the high school children who'd been researching the battle. And what amazed them was to find that there were youngsters, even as young as 14 or 15, who took part in the Battle of Jutland and went to sea. And I think that made them think very seriously about the sort of decisions uh, people of their own age took uh, in those days. And he was awarded the VC and had the biggest funeral of the First World War. It was a remarkable story uh, for a, a young man, or young lad really, uh, to be so brave under those extraordinary conditions. He must have been absolutely terrified, but he did his duty. He stayed at his post and was rightly rewarded for it. And just a final question. We're standing in front of St. Magnus Cathedral, just looking at the, the poppies behind us. Your own feelings today? Well, I think the uh, the thing is to remember the uh, the deaths of all those those people here at uh, those that lie at Lyness, those that lie with no known grave but the sea out in the middle of the North Sea on the Jutland Bank, and all those who died at sea during the war. It was a huge sacrifice that they made for what they believed in. And now we come together here with uh, our German friends. We're now friends and we remember the dead from both wars, uh, from both sides of the war, uh, in a spirit of reconciliation. Time is a healer. Indeed, indeed. And we move on. So Tim